Hey guys, uh, Christopher here, and welcome to part 10 of How to Pixel Art. Uh, double figures. If you've made it this far, then well done. Well done. You are doing good. So, um, let's, uh, for this episode, I thought we'd do tiling. Um, a few people have asked me about this, and I thought it would make a good episode. So, let's do it. Uh, new document. 8 by 8 tiles and 24 by 24 wide create okay so some of you may have noticed uh, that in the last episode I started using a new program uh, called pixel edit and um, I have a three-part series that I went into uh, where I covered this program in detail it's basically my default uh, pixel program now so I'll be using this from now on I use it for my personal work and everything um, now this has some unique tiling features uh, which come in handy when you want to do tiling um, so if you want to get stuck into this, best to pick up Pixel Edit. However, I would never force people to move on to a program. Um, so I will show you how to do some of this stuff manually, which is what I used to do before I found this program. So without further ado, let's start tiling. Um, go to this one. Okay. So what this art is going to be for, well, these tiles are going to be for, is a... Uh, a 2D side scroller. I thought I would like to start uh, basically uh, targeting where this series is going. So as I have more and more time available, I have always had the intention that uh, once we've covered the basics, like we have, um, the, the the prime principles of pixel art can be covered very quickly. Um, and I've covered most of them already, to be honest. Um, the rest is just like practice and getting good at this stuff. And that's the hard part is, you know, easy to learn, hard to master. So what I want to do is uh, get the program working towards a... Um, a point where you're making assets for your very own 2D side scroll. Um, 2D side scrollers are a good choice if you are new and you know you're still learning programming. A 2D side scroller is a very good choice. Some of the stuff is uh, a bit easier to do. Um, how's that looking? Looking pretty good. Um, I might darken up some of the areas in here. Some of you may recognize this uh, this pixeling method for uh, dirt. It's a fairly common one. It's used in a lot of uh, a lot of classic side scrolling games. Uh, Wonder Boy comes to mind, which is one of my all-time favorite games. And that's looking pretty good now. Way more depth. Okay, so I'm happy with that for now. Um, now, let's get into the stuff that is actually tiling. Now, <coughs> sorry, with the, uh, with the features that are available in Pixel Edit, I wouldn't have actually started like this. I would have started in a different way, but I'm actually doing it this way so I can show you all you non-pixel editors how to get it go about this. So I want you to imagine that this square here, if you chopped it down the middle and then chopped it down the other way. So that would look like this. That's halfway. Move that down and then I'm going to chop it down the other way. That's halfway and I'll move that across. Okay, so I've got it in four quarters. Now if I take each corner piece and swap it to its opposite corner. So what I need to do is move this piece up to here and then this piece will go down here and then take this piece, put that one up to there, put that one back in, put that one back in. Okay, so what I've effectively done is these points used to meet up with each other, the entire border of this square. Um, so it will seamlessly match to what you'd drawn before. 
uh, now your seam is right down the middle so you can go in and you can start just fixing that up as you see fit and that is a, a sure bet to see that your tiling works smoothly and you don't get any seams because seams is what gives away tiling obviously and something that you want to avoid for the most part okay so now if you are in pixel edit like I am now you want to jump in here and you want to use this tile placer tool A so if I go to A and then I think it's uh, uh, command click yes yeah, so if I command click you'll see that the tile now appears over here and what I want to do is just go around the edge here you can see how it tiles and I would start like this I would just put this tile in if I was not showing other people as well I would just put this in everywhere and then just start working because then you can go over the lines you can see how it tiles straight away you don't need to worry about moving stuff around like I did okay so I'm pretty happy with that um, now I'm actually gonna go and just turn that off and copy this across Oh, let's hit tab and unmap sorry just finding the unmap tool ah oh, command right click just clearing that just so I can make changes in this single square because I don't want it to be doing it on everything because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start working on some edges okay that's pretty good drag this one across there okay and that one's pretty good too now What I'm effectively doing right now is just going through and creating the tiles uh, that I need. I'm actually going to go erase this and erase that. Oh, lost one there. Okay. Um, now let's do some some top ones. These are the the side ones. You got the middle, and you got the side, and then I'm going to do some grass across the top here. So let's find a nice uh, grass color. Not get too carried away there. Sometimes when I look for the colors, I like to look at this whole spectrum and see how this is actually interpreting what green you're at. And you can see sometimes you end up with better results than others. That looks pretty good. Okay. So let's get started on that. Um, I think I might actually go in here first with the eraser and get rid of that and get rid of that okay just so I have some room to add some grass blades and stuff separately at the top okay that's pretty good now let's add some variations I always like uh, in games when the grass hangs off the end like that. I think it just looks cool. Obviously, everything that goes on in a 2D side scroll is pretty uh, surreal and interpreted version of reality because you know you don't really see like a perfect layer of glass grass on top of um, dirt like this. Uh, so let's go there. Let's actually go the darker way. Okay, looking 
pretty good. Let's jump it up a notch. We can go through here. Just put some highlights there. And that will really finish it off. Clean them off a bit. Okay, pretty happy with that. Now let's add just a few more blades of grass there. And I think we're pretty good. Okay, so we're going for time. Okay, so that's, uh, I won't save it. So that's the basics of tiling. I'm actually going to keep going into this uh, with the next lesson, I'd say. We'll do some other parts of the tiling, but this is a good start. Uh, and there's one final thing, what I'll do is I'll grab this and command click to make a new tile. Okay. Okay, so I've added all my pieces. Okay, so now let's make a new layer here and go T, let's go to a blue. Fill that in. Okay. Just doing a nice quick gradient across the sky. That'll do. Now let's go in here. Now let's just grab this one. Well, let's grab that one. And now you can see we can do this. Okay, so obviously that needs to be that one. Bit of a problem. Might have to actually change that. Mm, what to do there? Fill that in. Use that one instead. Not too bad. some problems with the tiles about them seaming up with stuff. Not too bad. Okay, so a few things that I've noticed with this tile set that I've done is you could push it all the edge and make some other ones so that you can have, because I personally like um, some differences in the tiles that I've got there, um, but for now that's pretty good. And there's a preview, bring this across. There we go. Oh, <laughs> should probably go back and get rid of that. That's better. Okay. So you can see, that's a good start to the tiling system. Um, it needs some work. It's got a few problems in there if you really want to use this in a game. And I've done the wrong side down there. But you get it the gist. So hopefully this has helped you get a start on your tiling. So go out there, make tiles, and I'll see you in part 11.